Omen. Mayo win the National League. The top eight teams qualify for the All-Ireland Tournament, so finishing top of the league is great for Mayo. Not only do they get through, but they are also in prime position to potentially win it. But then, only a few weeks later, I get some news from Ed. Hey Dave, how are you doing? Um, I'm afraid I've got some sad news from here today. Nick Loftus has, has died. It's really sad news. And the end of a great Mayo era. The last remaining member of the 1951 team has now passed away. Mick Loftus was a Gaelic football legend and gave so much of his life to the sport. With Mick now gone and Mayo in prime position for the All-Ireland, could this be the year we get an answer to whether or not the curse exists? Next time on Amazing Sports Stories, The Curse of County Mayo. What really happened in Foxford all those decades ago? We have answers. People have gone looking for the the burial records uh, and the parish. And we remember a legend. Dr. Loftus was one of the most respected EA people, not alone in Mayo, but in the country. With the final only weeks away, will Mayo finally beat the curse and restore themselves to former glory? This season of Amazing Sports Stories is a Message Heard production for the BBC World Service. This was episode two of three. And if you're enjoying the story, please do rate us, leave reviews where you can, and talk about us on social media. It really does help spread the word. And you can follow or subscribe to get the rest of The Curse of County Mayo and all our other stories automatically. We'll have new episodes weekly. The producer was Lincoln Fund of Estazen. Ed Colson was the field producer, and the senior producer was L. Scott. The production coordinator was Yelena Sofronievich. The composer and sound lead was Tom Bedlin. The mix engineer was Ivan Eastley, and the sound designer was Blue Posner. Kat Collins and John Minnell were the story editors. It was written by L. Scott with support from Harry Stott and Lincoln Fundivestazen. For Message Heard, the executive producer was Sandra Ferrari. For the BBC World Service, the senior producer was Cat Cox.